These recent graduates are already looking quite at home here in the heart of Berlin's government district. I'm Evgenia Kvasova and I'm from Russia. My name is Juliana Lazic and I'm from Serbia. My name, My name is Jeremy Banks and I come from the U.S. I'm Teresa Burinova and I'm Czech. They've come to find out how laws are passed here in Germany and have eagerly been looking forward to parliamentary debates. Today, the final stage after some tough negotiations, which they've followed from the start. Foreign Minister Frank-Walter Steinmeier and Chancellor Angela Merkel share the government bench, but will be rivals in national elections this September. It's time to compare the German parliament to those in other countries. We're seeing how the Grand Coalition still has to work together while campaigning for the elections at the same time. It's a bit different from back home. They are direct but not insulting and not as aggressive. For instance, I don't think the vocabulary they use in the Czech Republic would be acceptable here in Germany. What strikes me personally is the openness and transparency that you feel in the German Bundestag. I'd name that first of all, and then the parliamentary discipline. For a start, it's not as open in Russia. You can't come in and watch parliamentary sessions. For about 20 years now, MP Wolfgang Bernsen has helped more and more young people from abroad get to know the Bundestag. He invited Jeremy Banks from the U.S. to join his office as an intern for five months to study German politics, including the difficult aspects. The media play a great role because an article suddenly appears and everything has to be rewritten because of the way people react to it. So it's always an exciting day here in the Bundestag. Including a reception for the 115 visiting graduates from 27 countries. Wolfgang Bernsen speaks about democratic experiences during 60 years of the Federal Republic. We are proud that this country has, with the aid of wise men and women, been able to stabilize this democracy and ensure that the parliamentary process that we practice has become a kind of export product. Most of these guests come from young democracies in Eastern Europe. We invite young people from these countries to gather their own experiences so they can hopefully benefit from these experiences in their future careers. This can serve as a very practical anchor for connections between the respective countries and increasingly between their respective parliaments. To show both sides of an MP's life, Bernsen invites them to his constituency in northern Germany. He knows the people who sent him to Parliament and their concerns, including those of Captain Philipson, who's been rescuing people in distress at sea for almost 35 years. He's one of many people who do unpaid voluntary work here. The students are impressed by the constituency model. What I've learned here is really marvelous. For a member of parliament to come to the citizens and solve their problems locally, unfortunately, that doesn't happen in Serbia. Bernsen has invited fellow conservatives to a constituency event. Politics is not only about wranglings about policy in back rooms, sometimes it involves getting together with a future generation of international politicians. It's quite impressive. When you've had someone in your office who was rather reserved, even rather careless, never on time, not what you expected, and who you had to keep an eye on. And two years Years later, you go to Estonia and you meet a junior minister, the same person you were keeping tabs on just two years earlier. The guests will be going home in a month. Then life will begin in earnest in parliaments, editorial offices, embassies with fresh resolutions. <laughs> what I'd like to see in Russia would be more parties, so that people have a choice and could choose their own policies. I had an opportunity to get to know Germany, and for me it's an example to know how a stable democracy functions.
so that I can compare it with what goes on in the Czech Republic. For Wolfgang Bernsen, this program isn't just about understanding parliament, it's about developing ties between peoples. It's a model more and more European countries are taking up.